Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, somebody is feeling this cooler weather. Fall is here. I told you guys I was going to do a fall makeup look for you. And here it is. Bold, dark lip, dark, smoky brown eyes. She cute, right? We liking it. We liking it. I'm going to show you guys how I got this look. I used a lot of products for the first time and everything came together perfectly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. And I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. If you like how this looks, give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So I'm kind of excited because a lot of the stuff that I'm using today is either new or it's been in my collection for a while and I haven't tried it yet. So it's kind of going to be like a first impressions, but I feel pretty good about these products. So we'll see. I'm going to start off with the Becca. This is the first light priming filter. You did see this in a haul recently. And of course, I want to still have a very hydrated luminous look but we're doing like full glam smoky which is not something i normally do so i'm excited to try it and see how it turns out this primer is pretty much just for luminosity i don't think it has like it's not going to fill in my pores but it's going to be blurring because of the light reflecting particles so you can see how that makes my skin look already. I am gonna go in with my Tarte Smoothing Primer. I've been really liking to do this now just to make sure that my pores disappear. And I really just put this in the center of my face. All right, so we're just gonna let these sit for a little bit. I am gonna start with my eyes. The star of today's show is going to be the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I showed you guys this in my fall eyeshadow palettes and I was like, you know, I haven't used this in a while. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I used to use this all the time whenever I wasn't too worried about having something to cancel out my lid color. And since we're doing a smokier eye today, I'm just going to use this. Since I'm not really, my shadow is going to be dark. I'm actually almost out of this. I don't remember if this was a sample. I think this is a sample size. It is. So this is what that looks like. Sorry, I didn't show you guys that earlier. But clearly, she is almost done. When I'm using a more skin tone color, or just like not brighter or lighter shade to put my eyeshadow primer, I also like to put it on my brows to help those stay a little longer too. I'm gonna do something a little different today and I'm actually going to do my eyebrows first. I always worry my foundation or something is gonna mess it up, but can't grow if you don't try new stuff. I am going to be using the Cabral Pomade by Benefit. This is in the shade five. This is their cream gel brow. So that's what this looks like. I know that this is really long wearing and one of my girlfriends actually told me about it a while back. She swears by it. I've used it before. I just don't always use a brow pomade. So it's not like my go-to thing. It's a good color. It's dark. And I'm going to speed through the fill process just so you guys don't have to sit through this. All right, I'm gonna clean up around my brows with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is a little closer to my skin tone compared to the normal concealers that I use, so I didn't wanna go too dark with this. All right, brows are done. These look a little more arched than I normally do them, but that's all right, we're gonna work with it. 
So we're going to start with eyeshadow and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to start with the color Riff. So it's the one up here and I'm going to pretty much buff that all over my lid. So we're going to work our way down into the smoky part. Then to highlight under the brow bone and just blend that together more and also set the concealer a little bit, I'm going to go in with Breakaway. So that's the lightest shade up here. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Baja, which is a bit of an, it's this orange color here. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. No, I'm gonna use the same brush. And I'm just going to concentrate that more in the lower part. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit and go back with Riff and just go back around the edges again. We have a nice transition. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Accelerate. It's a bit of a sheen, but we're going to see how that looks. Bring a little bit of depth. Side, but then I'm going to go into Double Life, which is the one lower here. Let's see if that gives us a little darker. Here we go. And as you can see, I'm working that into the crease, but then I'm also working it onto my lid a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with Good Is Gone, which is our darkest brown here. This one's a little more cool tone. This one's a little more warm. We're probably going to play in both, but we'll just see. Using the same brush. And now even further into the crease, closer to the lid and the lash line and just building that up. It's not as far out yet as I normally do my darker shade. And we really want to make sure to deepen that crease. So now I'm going to take Punk, which is this warmer shade. Right now I'm really just trying to make sure everything's blended and that we have the darkest color about a third of the way in. And then I'm going to go back in to Good Is Gone, which is our cooler shade, just to further deepen the crease here and pull that all the way in. And I'm just darkening this up a little bit more. We want to go really smoky, but still keep it warm and brown. So we're not touching the black. Then for my lid shade, I'm actually going to do a matte, believe it or not. So we are going to go in with Weekender, which is this light shade here. And I'm going to take that just on a flat brush and pat that onto my lid. So 
So now I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush. Well, the smaller detailed one. And I'm going to go in with that orange again, just to bring, bring that back in to the inside a little bit and just help merge these two together. All right, so we're gonna stop here with the eyes and I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then come back and do my bottom lash line and any other little final touches I wanna do to the lid. For foundation today, I am finally going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I had to bring this back three times because the first time I got a neutral shade that was too light. Second time I got a cool shade that was too light, 440C. Then I brought that back and I got 470C, which looked way too orange. So then I brought that back. <laughs> And now I have 480C, which looks like this. And I think this is going to be a really good shade for me. If not, I give up and I'm going to bring it back. And I'm not using it again. This looks gold. Maybe I'm tripping. So that was almost a full pump. And then I just added a little bit more. So let's see what kind of coverage we get with this. This is a much better match. Thank you, baby Jesus. I think it's coming off looking a little orange on camera. And it does say that it is a medium coverage, which I agree. See, I got a little bump probably something that clogged my pores we'll see so this is where we're at one pump very luminous debating on if i want to try to add another to build it up i like the color from what i'm seeing in my mirror i'm gonna add a little bit more this is about a half a pump and I'm just going to put that in my problem areas. Not going to add any more to my forehead. I like this color. I can't tell. I think it looks orange to you guys, but I mean, it's a little warmer, but it's not like super yellow. I can deal with this. For concealer, I'm going to use the Benefit Boing cakeless concealer in the shade number eight i also picked this up during one of my hauls and haven't used it yet only thing that makes me nervous about this is this stuff has a shelf life so like i have stuff sitting in the drawer that i've never opened because i'm like you're not ready to use that yet so don't open it but then i don't try it and i don't know if it's good or not and then i try it and it's crap and i can't bring it back because it's too late so it's a catch-22, or I could just stop buying stuff and actually use what I have. That I guess that's always an option. I'm going to be careful up here since I already put some around my brows. I don't want to do too much. So far, I like the coverage of this. I like the finish. I like the color. All right, so now I'm going to go over everything with my sponge like I normally do and just press it into the skin and then go back around the edges with my foundation brush just to blend. It says that it won't crease, but I don't play that. I always set under my eyes because that will have you looking 80 years old in the face if you don't and it starts creasing. So we're not going to play that. I am going to be using a powder that I've had for a while and never opened. This is the Marc Jacobs 34 Invisible Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. This packaging is so cute. Not open yet. Y'all, I've had this probably for like a year. I'm not even going to lie. Maybe even longer than that. It looks like, okay, good. I thought this was white, but it looks like it's a nice, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, kind of like a neutral shade versus a white which i like so i'm going to take my powder brush and just start this has one of those net kind of 
kind of contraption. So I'm just going to start patting this into the skin under my eyes. I mean, you can see a difference already how much that's mattified my skin and makes it look smoother. This is why you set under your eyes. It just helps everything look more airbrushed. I'm just gonna set my smile lines. I don't normally have a problem with that caking, but don't wanna start either. All right. All right, to set my face, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the 35 Deep. I like the shade of this. It's very neutral. It's not gonna add too much color. And I just brush this very lightly in the other areas that we didn't put powder. Let's see if I can hold this up for you guys to see. You see it's not like gold or red or anything it's just a nice neutral brown all right so to contour we are going to use this Too Faced cocoa contour chisel to perfection palette haven't used this in a while used to love it and i just put it down to start trying other stuff but this is in the medium to deep and as you can see from the shades there's this deep mocha color here and then a lighter and then there is a highlighter called coco glow and then this banana powder up here so we're going to start with the deep color and this is going to be to contour not bronze so this cute little brush comes with it and it has a thinner edge so i'm just going to use this to go right in the hollows of my cheeks Nice, cool color, not too dark. And again, this is just to contour, so we're only putting it in the hollows. Very pretty. I love how everything just looks smooth, glowy, but it is set, like it's not gonna move. I'm just building this up. I really want to kind of try to do a little more chiseling on these cheekbones today. And then I'm going to go with the lighter shade and just go lightly down the sides of my nose. I like this little brush for this. And then to bronze, we are going to use this Physician's Formula. This is the Sculpting Bronzer in PF11001. And I'm gonna take a bigger brush. It comes with this little, what? It comes with this. It's a sponge? Huh, this is a sponge. Like this is not a brush at all. I'm not about to play with that because I don't want to mess up my face. I'll try that on another day. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just go on top of where I already contoured and up a little bit higher. Okay, and now for blush, finally get to try my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade spice cinnamon and I think this is gonna be yeah I did swatch it when I showed you guys in the haul but I think this is gonna go great with this look a nice warm color take my blush brush very pigmented oh yeah just so pretty yes i'm so glad i finally got this <laughs> y'all know me and my blush boo 
that that's kind of a lot but we working with it it's all right I'm gonna take a highlighting brush. I'm gonna take my bigger highlighting brush and I'm gonna use the highlighter shade and just see how that looks. Okay, it's not really a highlighter. It's just to kind of add a sheen to the blush if you want. Not bad. I mean, I figured I wasn't gonna wear this specifically as a highlighter, but I didn't know how much it was gonna glow coming together all right highlighter meh blush yes for highlighter we are using the physician's formula butter highlighter in the shade champagne this is that cream to powder one that i showed you guys this is what it looks like very shiny i'm gonna take a smaller highlighter brush my I think this is my oh yeah Morphe M501 and a lot comes up dipping in here y'all see that oh I love highlighter so this is the only thing I don't like about doing my brows first because I like to go on my brow bone with it and right now I don't want to mess up my eyebrows so We'll stay away from that, but look at how pretty this is. I'm trying to avoid putting it on my bump. That is so pretty and gold and blinding. It says champagne. <laughs> Ooh, wee. But that is not how I look champagne. That is so much highlighter. Barbara, where you going? Everywhere because... It's so pretty. Oh, yes. Physicians formula. Y'all need to do better with your foundation shades and complexion stuff. But this. That's pretty. I'm going to take my blush brush, not adding any extra product. And I'm just going to go over the edges. Because we don't want it to just look like stripe, stripe, stripe. And then same thing. Same thing, bronzer, just gonna kind of brush over the top. And then same thing, powder brush, just kind of sweep around the edges. Mm hmm yes ma'am. We like it. All right, let's get back to the eyes. I'm going to take a small shader brush and I'm going to go in with Good Is Gone, which was the darker brown, and start at the lash line with that one. I'm really going to try to build this up. And then I'm going to go in a little bit with punk, which is the warmer brown. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the orange. Just to help blend everything together. And then I'm going to go in with Riff, which was our lighter brown, and just really kind of drag that down and smoke out the bottom more. So that is what that looks like. I want our lid color to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to take Breakaway. It's a... No... I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade from the contour palette, the matte. Yeah, that brightens that up a lot. I just wanted to make sure to keep it a matte color and not add any more shimmer. It's a little different for me. I know I like my shine on my lid. 
And then I'm going to come back with Riff and just put that a little bit to help blend here. Yeah, I like that better. And then I'm going to go back around the edges with Riff just to make sure we didn't lose any of that. All right, guys, so this is where we're finishing with the eyes. I'm going to put my liner, lashes, mascara, all that on off camera, and then I'll be back. Two hours later. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Feels like it though. Lashes give me the blues. Like, I love how they look, how they transform a look. But, oh, man. These actually weren't horrible. I used the Ardell 600 Black um wispies and these are more spiked than what i normally do but i like them a lot they're not too too dramatic but they give a nice flare and they're kind of long i like the spiky look so time to finish lips and then we will be done i'm not sure what i want to do because i have this abh color it's a liquid lipstick in veronica this one's more of like a no, we're probably not going to do this one. A plum reddish color. Then I have Bittersweet. Also by ABH. This is more of like a red brown. And then I have Crucifix, which is like deep. Huh? I think we're going to do that. It's fall, guys. It's almost like a brown. So these are the three shades. The first one is Veronica, then this is Bittersweet, then this is Crucifix. Oh man, YOLO. We're gonna go Crucifix. I'm gonna line my lips in MAC Chestnut, which we all know is like the staple brown. And I'm going to fill in just a little bit to help it blend better. And we are going broke or go home. We're going to go with Kat Von D Crucifix. Fall is here. For setting spray, I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. And I'm gonna come in a little closer so you guys can see the final look. All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. I absolutely love it. I have loved everything that I used today. We had no issues. I love it when everything goes smooth. Doesn't always happen, but you gotta appreciate it when it does. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like how the look turned out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. This is fall right here. This look is everything. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.